Introducing the newest phenom to the world of YouTube boxing. Mom, I think you need a new phone. He's a speaker of some sort. Um, I think he's all in that guy. Oh my god, he's my idol! He is Old Man Boxing! What's good, YouTube? What's going on, man? Old man, you know, trying to get back into the swing of things here, you know what I'm saying? Word. Oh man, we got some news, we got some news, we got some breaking news. You know what I'm saying? And I and I and I like that. You know what I mean? See like we got a real fight coming up. You know what I'm saying? With two people who ain't scared. Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. You know what I mean? Now, I'll be straight up. I think that's honestly that's too quick of a, it's supposed to be in September sometime, y'all. At least they in the talks. You know, I know it's all over the news, but personally, yo, I think Tyson Fury moving too damn fast, man. Yo, man, you better slow your road. Do you know who you're getting in there with? You know? Now I know that, you know, Fury is awkward, you know what I'm saying? He's long, he's lanky, he's tall, no doubt. But yo, man, come on, man. Don't you think you need to get, like, maybe one or two more fights up under your belt and show something? Because you look terrible in your last fight, man. You know? I mean, how how, how are you going to go in there with somebody like Deontay Wilder right now? But, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. I got to say this. At least he got balls enough to do it. And to do it now, when he's not even in the... He's, he's like, at the end of his career, if you ask me. If you ask me, I think he's at the end of his career. You know, all them drugs done took, you know, that, 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 that dang on nose candy done took his toll. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? It, it does. When you do it like that, with that kind of money he had, yo, man, can you just imagine? And just think about his interviews now. You know, some of the interviews, he's saying some crazy ass shit. Well, he was on that nose candy. What the hell y'all expect? You know, I didn't, I didn't know that. I, I found out all this afterwards. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. Because, you know, like I said, I don't really get in a personal business. You know, because it's like, yo, what you do out of that ring, that's your business. But at the same time, if it's affecting you in the ring, yeah. And then I'm curious. I'm like, okay, what the hell is wrong with this dude? You know, but, you know, Tyce Fury did what he did in the ring. But, yo, Deontay Wilder? Ooh. And, and you know what's even, but I'm going to tell you right now, you know what's messed up about that is that, all this shit that um, um, Tyson Fury done been through, you know, and how he he, lo he looks terrible, and you ain't hearing Anthony Joshua or um, 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 Dillian White calling him out. It's like, yo, Anthony Joshua, you need to be the first one calling him out. Because those belts was handed to you, man. Like, the first ones you got is when he vacated them. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I call that a hand down. Unless you fought a killer to get it. You know what I'm saying? That that that, that makes a difference. But, um, you know, I, 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 don't, I, don't think, I don't think Tyson Fury is going to survive Wilder, man. I mean, Tyson Fury used to be. I used to be like, well, you know what? He can give Wilder trouble, but he going to lose. He going to get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? And... <clears throat> Damn. You know, it just it just I, I you know I can't say nothing bad about it, man. At least he he's he hey look. He he Tyson Fury is, is making a move that you know a lot of people are not willing to make. Everybody's coming up with all these excuses to fight Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury like what? He don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not a huge Fury fan. I just like his attitude. You know what I'm saying? And I like the fact that he ain't scared to fight. You know, I dig that. But right now, man, after that long layoff and this winky dinky fight that you have fought, man. Man, you don't need to be stepping in there with Deontay Wilde on your next fight. I mean, yo. <laughs> that's committing suicide, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on. But anyway, you know. I, I give him, I, I at least commend him, c c commend Tyson Fury for 
taking that fight. We already know what Deontay Wilder going to do. Wilder going to take care of business. He has a goal, man. He's determined. You know what I'm saying? And somebody determined to do something, and, you know, they putting forth that serious effort, they going to get it done. They'll get it done. What I suggest for Deontay Wilder is take whoever. Knock them all out. You know what I'm saying? Knock them all on the ass. I mean, it's it's best... It's best for him to do that. You, you. I mean, Deontay Wilder got to smoke them dudes out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hell, you, you go to the rabbit hole, you take your fist, you stick it through that rabbit hole and punch that rabbit right in the face. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's the only way you're going to get them dudes, you know? And that's an analogy for you knuckleheads who, who, who like, come on, and say, oh, man, he told them to do this. Nah, nah that's an analogy, chumps. But anyway, I, I think, you know, it... it I. Honestly, I think it's going to be a good fight because I think Tyson Fury is going to go in there and go in there. He, I don't think he worried about um, the power of Deontay Wilder. I don't see him being overly cautious. I see him going balls out. Although I think his balls are going to get handed to him at the end of the fight. Hey, here you go, Fury, man. It's okay. I don't want him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, 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 you know, I mean, I, I got to commend the man for taking that fight, though. A dangerous fight like that. But, you know, hey, Tyson Fury always been on the edge. You know, he always been that one to do and say some crazy ass shit. So why would I expect him to do any different now? You know? Anyway, I think, um, you know, Wilder knocks out Fury somewhere around the seventh, sixth. Well, anywhere from the sixth to the eighth round. And maybe even earlier than that. But I see Fury probably doing something as I said about Luis Ortiz, it's the same thing with any boxer. You got to give them something to think about. If your power is not doing it, you got to do something else. I ain't questioning Deontay Wilder's power now, y'all. Y'all, you don't even go there. I'm just speaking in general. You know, look, if your power ain't doing it, you got to do something else that's going to get their attention. Whether it's movement, whether it's, uh, you know, turning them. And I, I seen another a fight where the where, where the um, referee said, no, you can't turn him. I'm like, hey, what fucking sport you talking about? Yes, you can. If you got that angle, I, I mean, you can't physically turn him with your hand, but, you know, with, 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 with your gloves. But look here, if you at that angle and you in the corner and you use your body, your shoulders to get out, but yet turn him while you doing it, that's perfectly legal, man. So I don't even understand that fight. But anyway, you know, I, th- I think Deontay Wilder's going to knock him out anywhere from the 6th to the 8th round. You know, maybe even earlier, but I give it the 6th six, six to 8th rounds. I don't know if Tyson Fury got stamina to even make it 8 rounds, but I'll give him that. You know, Wilder by knockout, old man boxing signing out. Peace. <laughs>